On May 13, 1940, three days after the Nazis invaded France, the newly appointed Prime Minister of England, Winston Churchill, needed to address the British people and give them hope when all seemed hopeless. He chose to center his message around one word, a word that would fuel the British people during the long and devastating battle against the Nazis, a word that would inspire people to risk their lives. In his speech, he said, you ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word, it's victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terror. Victory, however long and hard the road may be. For without victory, there is no survival. After the war, Churchill would say that all the greatest things are simple, and many can be expressed in a single word. In the book, Your One Word, author Evan Carmichael echoes the same message. Carmichael states that there is one word that defines who you are, connects all the things in your life that make you come alive, and will help you escape the chains of mediocrity. Your one word is what you stand for. It's a core value that you use to make important decisions. Discovering your one word is essential if you want to build a great company or product. And there are two reasons for this. First, your one word is a steady source of motivation. And second, your one word makes it easy for people to talk about you. Anytime you're trying to do something great, you'll encounter a dip. A time when you feel like giving up because you're not getting the results you expected, or you're no longer getting the encouragement from others. What pulls you through these dips is remembering why you do what you do, the reason for your struggle. Your one word is that reason. And because it's so short, it's easy to remember when times get tough. When Evan was starting an online business to help entrepreneurs, he grew tired of working long hours and making less than minimum wage. He was losing respect for himself and felt like a total failure. He worked on his website, made his YouTube videos every day, but he felt like his efforts were being scattered. So he decided to create a mission statement for his business. He came up with statements like, helping you build the company of your dreams, and motivation and strategies for entrepreneurs. But none of these statements got him excited to do the work. So he decided to look for a single word, a word that would guide his decisions when things got tough, and a word that would represent what his business stood for. After going through a journaling exercise that I will explain later in the video, he discovered his word was believe. His business existed to help entrepreneurs believe in what they were doing believe they could do it, and believe it would work. His one word got his blood pumping and reinvigorated his willingness to do the work. By aligning his actions with his one word, he found the clarity and conviction to push through the dip, gain a loyal following, and build a thriving business. The second reason why your one word is powerful is because having one word to guide your efforts makes it easy for people to talk about you. Steve Jobs once said, it's a noisy world we're not going to get a chance to get people to remember much about us. And so, we have to be really clear on what we want them to know about us. Your potential customers will be busy and overwhelmed with advertisements to buy many products. Unless you can stand out from the competition in a unique way, they simply won't notice you or tell any of their friends about you. But Evan says, when you stand for something important, something people feel connected to, and something people are proud to be part of, you make it easy for them to share because they only have to remember one word. When your one word is something other than money or profit, you distinguish yourself from the competition and develop an emotional connection with your customer. While Steve Jobs was running Apple, his focus on elegance was obvious and it made it easy to tell the difference between an Apple computer and every other computer on the market. By understanding that knowing my one word can help me get through the dips and allow others to easily spread my work through word of mouth, I decided to search for my one word. I started by answering questions in each of these three areas. Favorite things, personality traits, and constants. In the area of favorite things, I asked myself, what are my favorite books and what do they have in common? What are my favorite movies and what do they have in common? In the area of personal traits, I asked myself, of the people I enjoy being around, what personality traits do they have in common? of the people I dread being around and who drain my energy. What traits do they share? And what's the opposite of that? In the area of constants, I asked myself, what interest or interests 
have been present in my life for as long as I can remember. After the video, block out 15 minutes and try to answer these questions for yourself. Write down a long list of answers in a notebook for each of the three areas. After you've come up with several answers, ask yourself, what words do my answers have in common? What is the common thread that binds each of these three areas together? When I did this exercise, I found that my word was mastery. My favorite movies, The Bourne Ultimatum and Gladiator, are based on characters who have attained mastery. My favorite books are Grit and Peak, both of which explain the path to mastery. I love being around people who are trying to master their craft, and I hate being around people who are complacent and lazy. A constant theme in my life has been getting obsessed with certain things and trying to master them. Things like golf, where I would spend hours and hours on the range, and much prefer practicing over playing. The pursuit of mastery is why I spend countless hours reading books and making these videos. I want other people to become masters of their own craft by teaching them the tools and techniques to do so. The pursuit of mastery has guided many of my big decisions in life, and it compels me forward. When you go through this journaling exercise and you are still unable to come up with one word that connects your answers, sleep on it. Then wake up in the morning and review your list and see what words jump out at you. As the Dalai Lama said, sleep is the best meditation. When you think you've found your word, remind yourself of it throughout the day and observe what effect it has on your life. Does it inspire you to take action? Does it provide clarity when making difficult decisions? If not, keep searching for the one word that does. That was the core message that I gathered from your one word. The book goes into more detail on how you can use your one word to build a successful business. I highly recommend reading it. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of insights that I gathered from this book, just click the link below and I'd be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, this PDF is sitting in your inbox. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a productive week.